the East Coast LQ Views. Today, we're doing another beer review. This is the last beer of the variety pack, of the Long Trail variety pack. This is Green Blaze IPA. It says uh, Trail Worthy IPA. We got Beer Advocate pulled up here. Score on Beer Advocate is 86 for very good. Style IPA American ABV 6.5% from Long Trail Brewing Co. out of Vermont, United States. Availability is year round. It says uh, Notes. Blaze a hoppy trail, guide yourself through the lupulin landscape of pine, resin, and tropical fruit hop notes in this trail-worthy American IPA. Um, actually, we also got the website pulled up. Um, so it says Green Blaze IPA, Blaze a hoppy trail. Oh, we just read that. Um, Green Blaze IPA features big pine, tropical fruit, and resin hop notes with a light biscuity malt backbone. Says uh, what it pairs well with. Pairs well with blue cheeses, sharp cheddar, cold beef, grilled meats, barbecue, hamburgers, spicy dishes, tacos, blend, uh, black and chicken, pickled vegetables, shellfish, and outdoor adventure. Origins of a name. It says green, a color associated with environmental responsibility, outdoor adventure, and hoppy beers. Three pillars at the core of our, our of our ideals. Blaze a mark to indicate a trail, usually painted on or cut into a tree. Um, it says 60 IBUs, 6.5% ABV. It says pale orange on the color. So, uh, yeah, I got my dual glass here. Let's crack this open, go for the pour, and go for the color, we guys. For the appearance. Let's go for that pour. I'm going to try to pour it a little aggressively. I didn't really get much of a head with the Long Trail Ale or the Lager. Definitely a bigger head on this one. So color of the beer is definitely like a hazy golden orange color. About a finger and a half of white head. Looks like it's gonna leave a little bit of a lacing on the glass. Looks pretty good. Let's go for the nose on this one. Definitely lots of tropical pineapple mango. A nice, like, earthy pine hop resin aroma. Some citrus as well. Nice biscuity, bready note. Definitely like a nice sweetness as well, like a little bit of caramel malt with this one. It smells pretty good. Let's go for the taste on this. Actually, really good. Definitely like a nice earthy, piney, hoppy finish to it. Nice, nice bitterness. Good amount of bitterness. Some caramel malt, nice sweetness. And that caramel malt backbone. As far as fruity flavors, up front, you're getting more of the tropical. So you're getting more of like pineapple, mango, peach. Maybe even a little bit of guava. In between, you're getting more of the fruity. So you're getting like citrusy. So like orange, maybe like lemon, tangerine. It's pretty good. Um, I kind of wish it would be a little bit juicier. And the pineapple fruity aspect but I think the uh, the bitterness and the hops kind of cuts through and cuts into that sweetness that juicy tropical flavor definitely some grapefruit on the palate as well picking up some grapefruit see so yeah, it does have like a nice biscuity bready taste going for it Mouth feels, I'd say, about medium. Um, it finishes a little dry, finishes a little stringent. So you're definitely picking up a good amount of those hops. Like I said, it's kind of like piney, hop resin, earthy, floral finish. Tropical up front, fruity in between, caramel malt in between, biscuity and bready in between. 
Yeah, it's good. I like the amount of tropical flavor I'm getting. I feel like it just could be a little bit more juicy and tropical. But if you're someone who's a hophead, I think you would actually really enjoy this. I think you would uh, you would appreciate the amount of hops you're getting with this one. You'd appreciate the bitterness. Um, I do enjoy it. I think it's a pretty good beer for a rating. I'm going to give it like a... Uh, uh, I'm going to give it half a point for a price. As you guys, if you guys watch my other videos, $10 for a 12-pack variety pack. Definitely a great <coughs> great price for craft beer. Sorry, I'm choking a little bit. Yeah, for me, this one falls a little flat in the juicy, fruity department. It does have a lot of juicy, fruity flavors. Like I said, I'm picking up a lot of different things. Um... I just kind of wish they were like a little bit richer, a little bit fuller with those flavors. Um, but it's definitely very good in my opinion. Like I said, I kind of wish it just was like a little bit juicier, a little bit more tropical, a little bit more fruity. You are getting those fruity tropical, those fruity and tropical notes. Like I said, they're just not as prominent in the beer. Um, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think that's a fair rating. Um, if you, Like I said, I'm going to recommend it to you guys if you're a hophead. If you don't like your beers to be too sweet, if you don't like them to be overly uh fruity and tropical and more on the bitter hoppy side i think you would actually really enjoy this cyclops scale um it has a little bit, it has a good amount of sweetness and it has a really good amount of hops um so i'm gonna say uh i'm gonna say two and a half out of five sugar cubes and like three and a half out of five hop cones and um yeah like i said i'm gonna recommend it to you guys especially if you're a hop head if you guys like hoppy beers uh, more more on the bitter side of ipas i think you would enjoy this Combination is about medium. Mouth feels about medium. And uh, yeah, like I said, eight out of ten, definitely a, a decent IPA. Um, I could see this appealing to a lot of different people. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything that you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.